today we're going to be going over the Ontario Air Force Survival Knife. This knife I bought brand new, but I bought it second hand. You can see the mark right here. So second hand just means that it's not perfectly lined up. You can see how this is kind of off center. There's some stuff kind of wrong here with the handle. Overall, it's pretty straight. But we're going to see if it makes a good survival knife. We're going to test it with some batoning and stuff like that. So there's the knife. It features a saw that is not actually meant for wood. It's meant for like cutting yourself out of a downed airplane. So it's really not that great for wood, but we'll show you and try it. The blade is pretty good. It gets dull pretty easy, but it also comes with a sharpening stone here in the sheath. It's not the best sharpening stone, but at least it is a sharpening stone. It's a full leather sheath. Uh, I just braided these on the bottom here and the top. It's got a metal back on it, so that way you don't like put the knife through your leg when you try to put it back in. So, let's try to baton some stuff and see how it works. Let's start out with some small stuff. So this come from an old barn. It looks like it's probably oak, if I had to guess. Pretty hard. So we'll see how she does. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay. One thing, guys, is, as you can see, because this is not completely flat on the top, you're getting kind of some gunk from the wood that I'm hitting on there. Also, the top of this, it's not sharp, but it's like, I don't know, it's like factory sharp, but they painted over it. So you can kind of see where it's like, well, shoot, it's really not even hurting the wood too bad. Usually it tears it up if it's double-sided. That's pretty interesting stuff. I'm pretty impressed. I think this blade is like six inches or something like that. It's really not that bad. You could put this in like your boot on the outside of your boot. Honestly, nobody could even tell that you had this. Don't carry it if it's illegal to carry in your area, though. Don't let me talk you into something illegal. All right, guys, let's try something a little bit bigger. All right, so we got something still pretty alive. It looks like it's a uh, pine. Uh, yeah, I think it's pine. Let's see if it'll take this. This is probably, I don't know, three and a half, four fingers thick. Let's see how she does. Alright, she's having a little bit of problems. She got stuck. This just happens with tinier knives. So I'm going to show you guys how to get it unstuck. You're basically just going to turn your piece of wood over like this. I mean, it's separated. 
just didn't cut. It's just a, it's such a small blade, I think. Let's try it kind of stuffed in there. More blade sticking out. We'll see if she goes through the rest of the way. Now she got caught again. I'm putting this knife through hell of a beating here, guys, so we're going to find out just what the hell it's doing. Yeah. Oh, there she goes. All right, guys. So definitely, I think four fingers thickness. Three and a half. That's definitely enough for this blade here. So I definitely put it through its paces there. I really, I don't see any rolled edges. I see I kind of messed up the finish, but oh well. So survival knife. It doesn't look bent. I guess these are notorious for breaking in half because the, uh, steel i guess when they were making it they heated it really low i forget what that's called but basically if it was high tempered i believe that's what the term is is tempered if it's high tempered the blade would crack and break but they tempered it so low that if it got stuck you could bend it i don't really know if that's much better but it's not bad guys and it's probably about an inch across there. And you know guys, this knife, I got it off of eBay because it was a factory second. I think it was only like $35 plus shipping, which isn't bad at all. And, uh, you know, that's, it's, it's military surplus, guys. They're built tough. You know, if you need something like this and you're just getting in, into the outdoors and you need a good knife, you don't want to buy something crappy from Walmart, maybe think about getting the Air Force Survival Knife. The Ontario Air Force Survival Knife. Let's see how she does with this saw here. Let's try it out. Oh, it's going. Whew. This saw is so freaking tiny, guys. <laughs> It'd take you a little bit to get through it. This is definitely not made for wood. Mm, yeah. I think that's strictly for just getting out of uh, down planes and such. I don't think this is the best for cutting wood. Let's try a drop test. Let's see. Let's see if it sticks when I drop it. So you guys can't see because the angle is kind of weird, but I got this up about three feet high. Just dropping it straight down. Damn, it actually did pretty good. Try it again here. Not bad. Not bad at all. The weight's good on it. Yeah. All right. That ain't too bad. All right. Um, maybe try a throw test here. I mean, obviously, guys, this knife isn't meant to be thrown, but I'm putting it through its paces today. That's today's video. He's catching pretty good. Pretty deep, actually. I mean, that's pretty deep. All 
All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap this up for today. So if you guys are interested in, purchase, in purchasing this one specifically, this is a factory second. It's not the perfect, most perfect one you could possibly get, but it is one you can get cheap. It's $35 because it's factory second. So if you guys are looking for this, I got this one off eBay. Guys, go check them out. Hopefully they didn't raise the prices on you guys. Uh, the Ontario Air Force Survival Knife. It's a good starter knife. It's definitely not the best knife out there, but it'll do you. Pretty purdy looking. So yeah. Hope you guys liked the video. Like, comment, subscribe.